this is a set of nine high quality uh, artist brushes uh, with synthetic fibers for the bristles. And each one is packed separately in its own tube, has a subtube, bamboo wood handles, and uh, like I say, this artificial uh, taclon, as they call it, which is a, apparently a very good alternative to natural fibers. Uh, these are round tip RT is the manufacturer's designation, and uh, they come in different sizes. Obviously, you soak the tip in water, and uh, it comes loose from its, uh, they're like glued in place to shape. Um, apparently, too, and I'm not an artist, and I haven't... Uh, use these, full disclosure. Uh, but I am somebody who makes stuff. Look at the wire stretched around and four places under a pa plastic buffer. And they're tied off, clipped. Very nice, handmade look to these brushes. And uh, apparently they work best with lighter acrylic paints and watercolors is what I understand. And uh, again, like all brushes, don't get paint up into this hilt area. Avoid that as much as you can. It makes them last longer. And uh, you can store them inside of these tubes if they're dry. This tube can help keep it from flattening, getting out of shape. And then uh, once they're dry, you can put them back in their tubes. But uh, have a number one, number two, all the way up to the big number eights, tens, and 12 is your biggest brush. All very, very nicely made. I love uh, tools and equipment that are handmade. Just can't beat it. And I'm sure this is semi-handmade. There's use of machines here, but it has a handmade look that looks very authentic. Makes it more pleasurable. Especially doing art. Uh, puts you in that mode rather than have something that's stamped out. So, enjoy. Cheers. Oh, and also, before I sign off, excellent price. I mean, these things are, works out to, what, 350 or something per brush for uh, something like these. is very, very good value. So, give them a try. Cheers.